And hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are back inside of Minecraft and there's finally a new parkour release. This is Zaz's parkour. This looks a bit trippy. It's going to be like the block switching stuff and also um, this texture pack really weirds me out. It's like I'm looking at simplified color terracotta. Now this is... I click while holding the block changer to activate block change. Okay, simple enough. You can go the slower, easier way, or the faster, more difficult way. That seems to be the way to do it, you know. Now, I'm not scared of a challenge, although, wait, I think the faster way is that way somewhere. Um, I'm not exactly sure where all that leads. One sec, I'm actually curious about this. Wait, or is that pink block from there? Yeah, you're supposed to go from there. Okay. The difficulty pathways are probably level specific, I'm guessing. Oh! <laughs> Just kind of got into the flow of that. So I'm guessing that, like, whenever there's multiple pa paths, both paths still lead to the same level. Big blocks look every 1.5 seconds, so you can fall through them. Okay, that's fine. No worries on that one. I will say, I like the block changer so much more on this than another map that I had recorded, but ended up having to scrap the video because it was really bad. Um, they had it set up to be where um, you had to switch the item to your... <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm doing. But you had to switch the item to your offhand to switch which block was active. And the thing about it is, I wasn't going to switch my, um, whatchamacallit, I wasn't going to switch my right click to that, so I, I set one of my off mouse buttons to it, and trying to click something like that with your thumb, like every time you jump practically, is really painful. I wasn't going to wait, then I wasn't, then I was, then I wasn't, then I was. I just couldn't make up my mind there. Oh, I didn't make that. Ah, that's going to be off. Yeah. Ooh, I, I, had, I had the timing good there, just not the jump. Like, the problem I have with these sometimes is I end up hitting the edge of them. Yeah, like that. Ah, uh, that was bad timing. But I still made it. We good. Okay. Also, setting up a roundabout with a block switcher is just evil. I'm just gonna say it. <gasps> oh, I have all the jumps to miss. Um. Ah. Yeah, it's not quite that bad of a timing. You can just jump when it swaps off like that. Okay, cool. Boom. Don't need to do anything fancy. Just go with it. Uh, brown blocks launch you into the air. You can launch yourself higher by jumping as soon as you touch the block. Alright, cool. Sounds fun to me. Oh. That's cursed. Oh, I could have skipped so much. Oh, I was on a change block. Okay, interesting. So if you're willing to oh, that didn't work. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking there, but if you can get the timing right with that block, then you can skip so much time. The only problem is the jumping for it's really wonky. Like it's you can't just run up and jump on it. You have to like 
go off and then jump up. Nice. Okay, cool. I knew I could make that. All right, now we got four block jumps off of the block changers. Wee. Um. That timing was a little bit inconvenient. Just, just gonna say. Like the problem is, is it's gonna be so hard to not just take this pure momentum. Okay. So at what point, whoops. I just clicked right click. Uh, let's go with this towards the end of it. Oh, okay, well, don't work, why don't you? Okay, that worked perfectly. Except for now, I'm kind of stuck going this way, which scares me. Okay. Nice. Okay, I, I, I wasn't I wasn't sure about that one, but. Ooh, that was close timing. Mm, with those where you need to go straight up, it seems almost as though you need to go on the second bounce. Okay, I don't know what. Just in general with these, like. Huh. They are not, like. They're not set up exactly as explained is the problem. Like, it's not that they're set up poorly. It's just that the way they were explained was done poorly. Because it's almost impossible to get a large bounce off of your first jump on the block. Oh, I thought for sure it would be pretty time. Hmm. again like that can I yeah you can in theory make this off of that first jump it's just a matter of it's not consistent <laughs> off of the first one like after the first one it runs pretty consistently okay white blocks appear to just be normal blocks it is fine by me my word. Uh, I think I want to jump to here and then back up here. Yeah. Right, I was standing on one of the stinking change blocks. You gotta love that. I missed. Okay. Bam. <sighs> like, I don't know, this this level is so... Or, or this map in general is just so weird. Like, the only thing about it is I wouldn't really mind the setup if the description had reflected that this was going to be the sort of map this was. Because, like, the map description was, like, a really simple parkour with some flickering blocks. And it's like, when you say something like that, what comes to my mind is a parkour that's mostly just normal parkour, but the map creator wanted to add in something special, so they put some flickering blocks in a couple of the levels. And in a case like this, or like that, flickering would stand for the, um, more the pink blocks, in my opinion. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going right now. All right, this way. So yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just feel like the map description was a bit off on this one. And that's, that's just one of my pet peeves when it comes to parkour maps is 
when descriptions are off. Because the number one thing I use to judge, you know, what I'm getting in for in a map is the description. And sometimes I'll look at the screenshots and stuff too. But this was one of the cases where I'm just like, ah, eh, I don't really feel much of a need to check the screenshots for two reasons. One is, well, it's, you know, it's specifically stated that it's a simple parkour. So from that standpoint, I'm not as worried about it. Bam. Made it to gold. Um, is that it? Is it just the end? There's no fanfare or anything? What? Excuse me. Nothing? That's it? That, that's, that's really anticlimactic. Um, but yeah, like... Part, part of the deal was, which I guess we're back here now. Not that it matters, because there's not really an ending. But I, I do want to finish my thought real quick. Um, like, we haven't had any new releases of parkour maps in so long that there was a map. And you better believe I was going to play it. Like, even if its description was it was going to be pretty much hell itself playing it, I was still like, oh my goodness, it's a new parkour map. I can't believe this. We seriously need new parkour maps. Please send help. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, I would like to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. God bless. Bye bye.